Will McIntyre is on the bump for the final time for the Huskies in the regular season this afternoon as the Huskies look to get in the win column for the first time against the St. Cloud Rocks. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome into the Huskies pregame show. I'm Adam Cohen, and joined alongside as a good friend and broadcast partner, Matthew Hargrove. Yesterday, the Huskies lost by a score of 10-4. They were down originally 3-0, but storm back. We're up 4-3. to three. But it was that big six-run six sitting that took them out of the game. It was, and that was kind of what we were talking about it yesterday. That was kind of the nail in the coffin, especially after the three-run bomb by Bryce Matthews to make it go 10-4 to four St. Cloud. But it was also really disappointing as well because it was a good back-and-forth game. You saw the Huskies take a 4-3 to three lead, and then St. Cloud tie it, and we thought that it was going to be a pretty good ending and then like I said Bryce Matthews happened. Bryce Matthews hit that three run bomb over the left field fence that gave the Rots a 10 to 4 lead but this this has been normal for the Huskies in the previous couple of series they gave up this one big inning against the Wilmer Stingers against the Bismarck Larks so if they can able to avoid this big inning they should be Good to go. Yeah, and the lacrosse loggers were in the wind calm last night. The Eau Claire Express and the Waterloo Bucks, they're going to have a doubleheader today with their game being postponed yesterday. And again, we're going to be expressing it the entire time during the pregame show, during the broadcast, and even the postgame show because that is the time that we are in. We have to start looking at these playoff implications. And if you're the Duluth Huskies, you have to find a way to win today. And they have their best bet at beating the St. Cloud Rocks, the best bet that they've had the entire season with their ace and Will McIntyre on the bump. Will McIntyre is second in the Northwoods League with a 2.24 ERA and leads the entire Husky staff with seven quality starts. You have to imagine, Matthew, that if he's able to go seven, that he could turn it over to Southern and Hammerberg. And that's why he's been so good lately. And We've said it a lot that Will McIntyre, when he's on his game, when he's pitching backwards, he is unhittable. And the curveball has been electric. And in his past two outings against the Singers, he has gone seven innings, and he's racked up seven strikeouts. And Will McIntyre, he leads the Duluth Huskies in strikeouts with 50. And he wasn't a guy who would go and have about, you know, nine or eight strikeouts in his evening. He would put up about four or five. But he has been on an absolute roll, and he has to be against St. Cloud today. McIntyre will be facing off against Riley Cornelio, who is the ace of the St. Cloud Rot staff, which is pretty incredible to think because St. Cloud Rots do have the best staff altogether in the Northwoods League. And... Cornelio, he's got so much power behind that fastball. We're going to be talking about the heater. He has a lot of strikeouts this year, 41 and ERA of 2.32. So we are expecting a pretty good pitching duel this afternoon. A Sunday matinee and a must-win game for the Huskies. You're watching them on the Northwoods League Baseball Network.